A teenager is in custody tonight and a 10 year old is in critical condition after police are calling it an accidental shooting at a Knoxville summer camp. Police say it was an accident, but it did rattle a nearly 100 year old East Knox staple this morning. We have team coverage reporting on this story for us today. Our Sam Bluther is at UT Medical Center where the child is being treated. Our Will Puckett is at the Phyllis Wheatley Center. Now, Will, we're going to start with you on this. Police say the 14 year old had two guns in his backpack. Yeah, two guns in his backpack is right, Ted. And we just got some new information from the YWCA just moments ago. YWCA says the Phyllis Wheatley Community Center will be open tomorrow on the regularly scheduled summer camp. However, they will have counselors inside the building available for any kids or family members who might be struggling through what they say was the tragedy of today's events. Again, the Phyllis Wheatley Center will be in session tomorrow and counselors will be on campus to talk with any kids who might be struggling after today. But there are a lot of questions that remain this evening. One, why did a 14 year old have two guns in his backpack? And the second question, why did he feel the need to bring it here to the summer camp? Now it happened, of course, here at the Phyllis Wheatley Center in East Knoxville. It's the main center for all of the YWCA's Knoxville work. They tell us 43 kids were signed into camp for the day when the shooting happened. I spoke with a grandmother who lives right next door and actually who sends her granddaughter here during the school year. She says this community staple is safe. I used to attend the Y myself when I was a young girl, and I've always liked the Phyllis Wheatley YWCA. It's a safe place. They have very good events and uh, activities for the children during the after school program and summer program. And I think it's a very good and safe place. Police say that that 14 year old actually left the Phyllis Wheatley Community Center after the shooting. Knoxville police officers catching up with him a short while later and taking him into custody. Of course, he is facing three charges, two counts of unlawful possession of a firearm and one count of reckless endangerment. Guys and will they do say still at this point, we are going to talk to the chief here in just a second, just so you know, but they do say an accidental shooting not targeted. Accidental completely from their investigation so far. Again, that 14 year old brought two handguns into the gymnasium here at the Phyllis Wheatley Community Center. One of them accidentally what they call discharging, hitting that 10 year old who is at UT Medical Center tonight. Ted. All right, appreciate it. Well, we're going to check back with you in about 30 minutes, but our Sam Luther is at UT Medical Center where the gunshot victim was taken. Sam, what can you tell us about his condition tonight? Stable yet critical, Brittany and Ted. That is what we've been hearing all afternoon, which is good news. According to the Knoxville Police Department, I caught up with KPD's Scott Irwin just a few minutes ago via text message. He tells me no major updates, but the one of note is that this 10 year old child's condition has since improved. So things trending in the right directions since they got to the hospital here earlier this afternoon. Again, it's still something that's under investigation. We understand that 14 year old has since been you know, picked up and talked to by police. Um, but here at UT Medical Center, we're going to be sure to stick with it this afternoon and ask for more details continually on the latest in this investigation. We don't know where that shooting took place. We don't know how many shots were fired uh, through that accidental discharge from what we're told through this investigation. But we're going to continue to provide you guys updates throughout the afternoon as we continue to learn more, guys. Sam, thank you. We'll check in with you in just a bit. We are going to try to learn more about this right now. Knoxville's Police Chief Paul Noel is joining us here live in the studio. Chief, thank you for being here on what's a very busy day for you. First question that people have about this is why does a 14 year old have a couple of guns in a backpack? Have you gotten any further to finding an answer to that? Thanks for having me here today, Ted. You know, obviously a very challenging day for our community and our police officers who had to respond today. That's something we're investigating right now. We're investigating where these guns came from and we're going to get to the bottom of that. Have you found anything new that would update the facts that we've been given? Accidental shooting. 14 year old facing some charges, the accused uh, and the, the 10 year old victim critical but stable condition. Is that still pretty much the, the latest on all the big bullet points here? Sure. So nothing new. So this was an accidental discharge. The child was hit. The child's in stable, critical but stable condition. And our police officers responded to the scene very, very quickly and were able to secure the scene and ultimately apprehend the perpetrator. Let's talk about what concerns you about situations like this, uh, crime and accident. What concerns you when kids have guns. Well, this is scary. You know, 
you know, our kids should be safe in summer camp. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's an obvious, right? So we need to make sure we're securing our, our firearms properly. You know, we haven't determined where this gun came from yet, but, you know, basic firearm safety and security is something that's very important. 